Hello, Cardinals. As stated in our last report, every three to four weeks, we will give a report to the community of what has taken place at the district. The most pressing issue at this time is the reopening of our schools. Surveys were sent out to parents on what type of school model you would like for your children to attend this upcoming school year. The three models that the district will offer are option one, 100% in person, option two, 100% virtual, and a hybrid option with two days in person and three days virtual. For the in-person option, we will take precautions such as temperature checks, six feet distance from one another, appointment only visitor entry to campuses, desk covers, providing bottled waters, breakfast in the classroom, and staggered lunches, lunch schedules. For the virtual option, the district will offer Chromebooks, hotspots, and training both in English and Spanish for parents and students before the school year starts. For the hybrid option, we will offer continuous instruction for the two days students attend in person and the three days students attend remotely. More details will be provided of the upcoming school year plans at Thursday's board meeting. In addition, the district will offer parent meetings, both in English and Spanish, to answer any questions parents may have about the upcoming school year. Training will be available for students and parents on the use of Google Classroom. All of the dates of the parent meetings and training will be released this week. Calendars were put out for the staff and community to vote. We wanted to make sure that all staff and the community had an opportunity to vote due to the fact that the district has the capability of transitioning from in-person learning to remote learning in case of a school closure, there were minor differences to the calendars. The calendar option winner will be presented to our board of managers for consideration this Thursday. As of right now, summer school has 905 students enrolled. The goal was to reach 1,000 or more students enrolled in our program. As we continue to try to reach this goal, we encourage anyone who is interested in our Summer Blast program, you can still enroll. Go to our website and enroll. All participants will receive a Summer Blast shirt, a goodie bag, and a restaurant voucher. So come and join the fun. Join the Summer Blast program. Our staff are currently working on a curriculum to provide the most effective and engaging lessons to our students. One of our goals of the district is to improve our district's star scores, and staff must go above and beyond to accomplish this goal. We will not shortchange our students and must provide a quality education for our children. The strength and conditioning was recommended by UIL to start on July the 13th. However, due to the increased COVID cases in Bayard County, the decision was to hold back on the restart date of the strength and conditioning camps to July the 20th and only if the COVID situation has gotten better. Just know that this is done with the best interest of our students and staff in mind. This past Saturday, food was distributed at the district's food pantry. Remember, this food is free and open to anyone in our community. If you would like to sign up for food or as a volunteer, just visit our website. We have our pre-K registration and new to the district registration now open. Go to our website and enroll. We look forward to working with our students, staff, and parents. Remember, at any time that you have a question or a concern, please feel free to contact me or any of our staff. It is part of our job to respond to your questions and concerns. It is good to report to you again, Southside ISD. Beaks up and let's make it a great week.